Hey traders, this is Tosh from My Investing Club. I go by T Bradley 90. Today we have a very special video from Austin, who is one of our moderators and goes by Aloha Trader in chat, is doing a video today, a daily recap of the ticker symbol FTFT. And while today is just a preview of the full length video, if you want to watch the full length or any of our exclusive content, then become an MIC member. Hey everybody, Austin here. <coughs> Going to do another trade recap on a stock I traded today, uh, but before I do, I want to say that I'm not licensed or registered, I'm not a financial advisor, and none of this should be taken as investment advice, even if it sounds like it. Okay, so the ticker was FTFT. Uh, a familiar stock, uh, def uh, long known turd um, China company, and this was uh, this was going up today, it, went, it rocketed pre-market on I even forget the news. I just whenever FTFT is running, I just say, "Hey, FTFT is running." But yeah, the news. Uh, if I let me just give me a second to look here. Yeah, the news was the establishment of a new subsidiary. Kind of, kind of, almost boring news. But it's FTFT, and it likes to run. And there's always uh, a lot of uh, a lot of games that be pl that that are played with this stock. And I was excited. Whenever FTFT runs, it can always get exciting. Stocks had big moves in the past. I'm pretty sure this is the old SPU. Yeah, big moves in the past. You can see on the daily. So knowing that going in, um, let's get into the trade. So uh, when I was awake when this uh, was just surging pre-market, and um, I, it's not something I wanted to chase pre-market at all. In fact, the second I saw it was up, I immediately located shares. And I was willing to go either way on the stock, long and short. And this was kind of a fun day because I was able to go long and short. So right out of the day, right out of the gate, um, we or right before the gate, we were opening. We, we were opening here at 12, uh, 2.50. And as I always do, um, I always look for the levels. Right? What are the What are going to be the important levels? I'm almost starting to sound like a broken record here, but the routine is the same every single time. You know, the routine is the same every single time. And the most important levels that I saw, the, the only really level that I saw was this level, this $2 level, like 204, 205, but I mean, let's call that two. That That's kind of how I grouped it. So I saw two on the daily level. I'm like, well, that's not quite enough. Like, is there anything else? And so the only thing that I had to go off of was this kind of like blip here pre-market, um, this kind of consol almost consolidation here. Um, pre-market here in the 80s and 90s like or 90s to 60s kind of this box here so that was my mentality going in I'm like you know what that's the level I'm hoping that we test that level if we spike out of the gate that's great too I have shares I'll probably be looking to short a parabolic into like into three into the three area like 360 was the next level up here but I figured that that was kind of high so I was hoping to get a short either off three or ideally I want us to go to a level to where I can observe the price action um, a daily level that's my favorite so we get here we start dipping and um, let's zoom in let's zoom in here to the morning yeah so we get here and so I'm looking um, to kinda catch the falling knife again and for those of you guys just watched my recent video about front side and back side this is an example of me at the end of the video, I talked about the front side of a long jumping in front of the train. Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T-O-S-H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.